It's Friday, we've got another big game on Saturday. Um, how are you feeling? I mean, I'm really looking forward to first game at home. Um, and I'm also really uh, happy with the week we've had. It's been an excellent week in training, so again, hopefully we put all that good work uh, out on show tomorrow. Yeah, you mentioned uh, you, you know it has been a long week in football, especially with the game being on Friday night and the disappointment of losing in that derby game. How important is it for you, your staff and for the players to try and flush out the system as quickly as possible and start looking ahead to the next challenge? Yeah, as you mentioned, I think it, was a, it was a disappointing one for everyone involved at the club, uh, not just because of the result, but I think Man of the defeat, I think we realised it quite quickly. We have to draw a line on that, and uh, the players have done that. Came in Monday, and there's been full focus on playing Hamilton tomorrow. Um, and again, I think we'll have uh, learned a couple of lessons. A good week in training, and can't wait, can't wait to get out there tomorrow. You are sort of, you know, still in the very early stages of your time at Wraith Rovers, but there's so much work that you've already managed to get in place, and a lot still to look forward to as well. You're starting to get a good look at your squad and shaping up. How are you feeling about that squad? You've already made a couple of a, or one addition at the moment to that squad and things as well. Well, I think I think Finley is a great addition. I think uh, the squad's got many good qualities, but one of the things that we definitely need to add was that um, ball carrier, someone that can go buy go buy players in terms of using their power and pace. We've got some really tidy footballers that are good in the final third, but Finley Finley brings that. And no, I'm I'm definitely learning about the squad, but I think we all still know. You know, at centre back, we've we've been a little short. We 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 dice been out. We we you and Murray been in and out. Um, midfield as well has been an area we've been quite light. So once we get these players back, which we will in the in the coming weeks, um, we'll learn a lot more. But as I keep saying, what the players are showing in training, we get that out into games. Um, it'll be exciting to watch. One of the things you've mentioned there about the players that haven't been featuring in the squad very much. You're, you've mentioned. Callum Fordyce, we've got Scott Brown and of course Sam Stanton as well. Three key players that would be playing a big role in that that, that team lineup every single week. They've not been featuring. Have we got any update or news on them? Yeah, Sam Sam's um kinda of had had a scan and the, the feedback on that is has been really positive, as positive as it could be, which is great. Great news. We still take it day to come days at times. Um but hopefully we can get Sam back uh, you know, not too distant future. And Scott Scott and Dice he'll be back before that. They're out there, they're running, they're progressing. And the big thing for me and the rest of the staff is we want to set these guys up so, so that when they're back, they're back, mm-hmm. they're part, you know, they're an integral part of the squad. Um, and a wee bit of patience to make sure we, we set them up to do that. So that's exciting. And looking ahead to tomorrow's game against Hamilton, it'll be your first home game at Starks Park. You're looking forward to that. But what are we expecting to see from our opposition that are coming in? Yeah, I think, again, any team that's managed by John Rankin, you know that you, he's going to have them working hard. Um They've had a really good start to the season. Uh, they've got some real good technical players. They they like to play. Um, obviously played them in the League Cup here, and I think they maybe got the be- the better of the game, even though it was a draw. So we have focused uh, a lot on ourselves, but obviously given the respect to Hamilton. But again, it's a week I think we're at home for our home fans. We want to um, really show what we're about. From your own point of view. You know, been up in Kirkcaldy now for a good few weeks. Your family are just coming up to visit. I think just yep. to start looking around. There's so much going on in your own life with uh, sort of having to very quickly up sticks up to Kirkcaldy, a new place, new people, trying to get settled as quickly as possible. And then, of course, with your family as well. How's that been for you? Yeah, I, you know, they say a week's a long time in football, and I think it's only been really two, two and a half weeks, so it's not long yeah. in, the, in the grand scheme of things. Um, but I've been made to feel so welcome by everyone. The, the staff, the fans, the board, the players. It's been great and um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Uh, obviously, from a family perspective, it's nice to have them up and looking forward to um, moving them up here so that we can really settle into life. But couldn't it, could it be much better um, in terms of the day-to-day? And I'm hoping that on Saturday we can um, all enjoy that three points. That That's what we all do everything for at the end of the day. Well, fingers crossed. I hope it's everyone for the family on Saturday and fans as well. Cheers, Neil. Yeah, good man. Thanks, Thank you. Man.